Hello everybody, Goodmaster Zero here, bringing you another video. This time I'm going to be showing you guys how to use and install the Bycraft plugin. This is an extremely helpful plugin. I recommend it for any server admin people out there. If you don't know what this plugin does, click the box above and it'll take you to a little video showing, uh, just explaining what Bycraft does. Alrighty, so first thing, go to Bycraft.net. This is their official website and it'll have all the things that you need. If it's your first time here, click register now. It just has a basic stuff, enter your email, passwords, you know, server name, URL, choose a currency, and then verify that you're human, I guess. <laughs> Once you've done that, go back to the main page and click on login to existing account. Once you're here, just type in your stuff. Alrighty, and now you'll be at this page. So once you're here, go ahead and click download now. Not harmful, don't really care, blah, blah, blah. All right, oops, sorry. Go ahead and open up your server plugins folder. I have to rename mine just to Bycraft because I already did this a couple times. So now that you've done that, go ahead and start up your server. Starting, 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 okie dokie. Now come back in here and copy everything except for the little slash. You can enter this in manually, but I don't see why you would. So go ahead and copy that, paste it, make sure there's no slash. Now this right here is your key. You don't want anybody else to have your key. If somebody else figures out what your key is, which I highly doubt it, but if anybody else finds your key, they'll be able to get on your server or your bycraft stuff and mess with everything and that's hassle. You can reset it later if anything does happen. Alright, so you type that in, go ahead and click enter. Secret keys successfully updated. Alright, and you got all that stuff. Come back to your plugins folder and you'll notice that there's now a Bycraft folder. You got your settings. I'm just going to open this with notepad. You've got your basic settings auto update true, disable by command false, HTTPS false. The disable by command will make it so people can't actually purchase the things in game, which would be stupid to set to true just leave it at false and right here here's your secret key I know you guys are seeing mine but I'm gonna reset mine so don't don't get any ideas people go ahead and exit that the readme whoops on the other on the other monitor why won't you there we go just got basic information installation MC my admin integration changing the buy command all that stuff Now the language.com. So right here you pretty much have all of the in-game messages that will be sent to player um, notifications like if say page not found, just kind of looking at this bottom one, it'll tell them page not found. You can change that to whatever you want. You can say aliens are taking over earth, run, be irrelevant, hopefully. I don't know of any alien invasion, but that would be, yeah, you can do it if you want, you know, mess with some people, whatever. Pretty easy. Um, configuration stuff. Really happy about that. Alrighty, once you've done that, go ahead and click continue on this page here. And you got your dashboard. You got all these different little tabs at the top. You got dashboard, latest Twitter updates, all that kind of stuff. Settings, you got your account settings here. You can change your email address, change your password, whatever you want, all that stuff. Servers, you can change the name of your server and you can change the currency here. Payment options. So here you can actually enable the pay the paying method. You've got PayPal, Payza, two checkout, Paygal, what in one bip. This is how the uh, members of your server will actually get the money to you. You choose one of these here. So just type in your PayPal account, your PayPal email, and PayPal or blah, payment options successfully updated. Also, if you need any help, click down here. It says, please click here to read a detailed tutorial on how to set up PayPal. So yeah, if you need more help, just go ahead and go there. Now that we've set up the payment methods, let's uh, go ahead and go to the Packages tab. Click here to add a new package. All right, so this page, this is where you add the packages or what people actually buy. You can make all sorts of packages. Let's say we want to give a member five days of VIP and a diamond block. So in the name, I'll go ahead and type in VIP package. Whoops. VIP package in the description, just type whatever you want. I'll say gives VIP 
for five days and a diamond block. All right, so we've done that. And then down here, you have commands. So you got these. The command pretty much is when they buy this package, what happens to them? You have to enter in the command here so it actually happens to them. So for the command, give name, square brackets for the name, space, uh, diamond block. What is that? 50, no, it's not 60, uh, 50, friggin 57. Yeah, 57 and one. So that'll give the user uh, one diamond block. And down here we'll do pex user name uh, group add VIP. And this will add them to the VIP group if you're using permissions X. It's uh, probably different commands for different uh, permissions plugins. You'd have to check with those plugins to actually see what those commands are. Then over here, these commands over here, this command will activate once their uh, time is up, so the five days is up. So it would be pex user name group remove VIP. All right, so that, that'll remove them from the group after whatever you do. So down here, you set the price, we'll say $5. Also, again, it, it'll have whatever currency you chose on your payment setting things, or on your server settings, actually. Yeah, go to server settings, you can change the store currency. So back here, expiry length. All right, so we're going to set that to five days. If you set it to zero, they'll actually keep the package forever. So set it to zero, and they'll keep it forever. Set it to any other number, and that'll be the amount of days that they keep it for. Require online. Require online, that's it. you can set it to yes or no. Pretty much it means do you require the member to be online when they purchase the package just leave it as yes and then the server you can always you know choose your other servers if you uh, want a package specifically for a certain server alright there's also a video tutorial here on how to do this so if you need more help go ahead and watch that video alright cool so now we have our VIP package And you can also come back and edit it, delete it, whatever you want. Should probably start up my server. Oh wait. Oh. Alrighty. Yeah. Oh. Creative. What the oh. I didn't opt myself. Alright, so now that you're in game, go ahead and type Bycraft Reload. Alright, and there you go. Package cache successfully Package cache successfully reloaded. That's a tongue twister. Nice. I'm gonna write that one down. Alright, you type slash buy. It'll uh list all your packages and whatnot. They have they all have I or IDs. And at the bottom it says type EC to turn your chat back on. So like for example, if you try talking, you'll notice it's not working. You gotta type slash EC and then you can actually talk again. So slash buy. Let's say. I mean let's see, I wanna purchase hmm, so many decisions. <laughs> I wanna purchase the VIP package. So I do buy one. Since that was the ID of the VIP package. And now it says click the link below, blah blah blah, continue your purchase. Just go ahead and click it. You can copy it to your clipboard and then just manually paste it in your uh, URL bar. We can just click yes here and it'll open one for you. Alright, package successfully added to basket. And over here you'll see total price $5. Enter in your Minecraft name, Codemaster Zero. I agree to the terms and conditions of this purchase. And then right here is where you actually pay. I can't do this because the PayPal that's registered to the um, account is actually my own PayPal. So PayPal won't let you use the same PayPal if you're paying money to that PayPal. I hope that made sense. All right, so back at the website, there's three more tabs to go over. You got the payments tab. This will just show any uh, purchases made by players. It'll list them here. Download, it just has all the different versions of Bycraft. So you always wanna stay up to date with the newest version. 
support. You can submit a ticket and always go to the knowledge base. Um, very helpful. Good stuff. So as you guys probably saw, this plugin, freaking amazing. I, like I said, I highly recommend it to any server admin. Very useful. Gets rid of a lot of hassle. It's quick and easy to set up. No big deal. The developers did a great job with this one. A plus, people. I clap for you. Alright guys, thanks for watching.